My name is Pete Ferrugia and in this video I'm going to talk about the rhythm studies in the RGT Ukulele Exams and Performance Awards. I have here the exam handbooks which are available from booksforguitar.com as well as your local RGT tutor. The exams start at initial stage and currently go up to grade 3. They cater for different kinds of player, whether you like to play fingerstyle patterns, single note melodies and of course those who prefer just to strum chords. You can either take the exam the traditional way by going to an exam centre at an appointed time and performing your chosen pieces in front of an examiner. Alternatively, you can choose to take a performance award and that's where you record your performance, either audio only or video with audio, and then you send that into the RGT to be assessed. I happen to be using a tenor ukulele, but you can use any size ukulele as long as it is tuned to standard tuning, G, C, E, A. You can use your fingers or a pick, or a combination of the two. Here's a guitar pick and here's a felt ukulele pick. For now I think I'll just use my fingers. In each exam you get four rhythm studies to choose from. You have to play at least one of these. If you prefer you can play more than one rhythm study to take the place of the optional parts of the exams like the melodies and the accompaniment sections. I'm going to be picking one of the rhythm studies from each grade to give you an idea of the standard of playing required to pass. Let's start with initial stage. In the initial stage exam, the chords are limited to these four. C, F, G, and A minor. All of the rhythm studies are played in 4-4 four, four time, which is four beats to the bar, where you just count one, two, three, four. And the strumming patterns are given for you. They're all quarter notes, or there may be one half note. The eight bar pattern is played twice, with no variations. And I've chosen rhythm study number three from initial stage to play for you now. Here we go. Notice that the final bar in which I played a C chord, you're required only just to strum the chord once and let it ring. The particular strumming pattern on that rhythm study was two quarter notes followed by one half note. So if I play that along with a count, it's one, two, three, four. When you play that rhythm study, make sure that your half note does last for the whole of beats three and four. Don't be tempted to move your fingers away from that chord to get ready for the next chord before the chord has finished ringing throughout beats three and four. On to preliminary grade. This is the same as initial stage except that in addition to 4-4 four, four time, you also get 3-4 time. Some people call this waltz time. This is where you count three beats to the bar. One, two, three. One, two, three. There are some extra chords that you need to know which are D minor and C7 and G7. And the strumming patterns now include two eighth notes. 
So when you're counting 3-4 time, for example, you have to include the half beats. You have to count something like 1 and 2 and 3 and. So the, you cater for those eight notes. And I'm going to play rhythm study number three. Here we go. Next we have grade one, and this continues on from preliminary grades, plus there are some extra chords you need to know, which are A, D, G minor, A7, and E7. The strumming pattern will now include four eighth notes, and from this grade onwards, you get to play your own variation of the rhythm pattern on the repeat section. So in the first verse, in the, in the first eight bar section, you play the rhythm pattern as it's given to you in the book. But in the second verse, in the repeat section of eight bars, you then get to put in your own rhythmic variations to that pattern, which could either be the same variation throughout the whole eight bars, or you could have uh, you know, more than one different kind of pattern that you bring in. It doesn't have to be on all of the eight bars. You could put it in on just some of the eight bars. It's up to you. Any variation, however, should retain some kind of musical connection to the original strum pattern and shouldn't just be oversimplified to make the performance easier. So here we go, and this is rhythm study number three. On to grade two. Grade two contains the same material as the previous grades, except that the rhythm studies are now of 12 bars duration, and the extra chords for this grade are B flat, E minor, F sharp minor, D7, C major seven, and G minor seven. The strumming pattern now includes one dotted quarter note or two accents. The variation on the repeat should be freer or less repetitive. The more musically effective the variation used, the higher the mark that may be awarded. That's what it says in the handbook. I'm going to play rhythm study number three, which includes a dotted rhythm. Here we go. And finally, let's take a look at a rhythm study for grade three. As before, all the material in the previous grades is included, but this time we get to play 6-8 time. And of course there are some extra chords, which are B minor, F minor, 
D major 7, G major 7, B7, E minor 7, and E diminished 7. The strumming pattern will now include at least two sixteenth notes and one split bar, where you get to play two chords in one bar. So I'm going to play rhythm study number three, which is in 6-8 time, and it contains sixteenth notes and a split bar. Here we go. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.